everybody one empire here today I've got a video on what I used to control the fire ant population in my backyard I came back from vacation yesterday and obviously my grass needs to be uh, um, dealt with but I had a, a big mound right here where this mud is and I noticed it when I came outside um, and there was a huge mound where this mud is now um, and there was fire ants, which I have, there's quite a few mounds around, but I decided to use Dawn dish soap and water. So I'm not sure how well this shows up, but those little specks inside the mud, those are all ants. Um, and they died yesterday after I put the Dawn dish soap on there. It's wet right now because I saw a few stragglers and I went hardcore with the permethrin, 10% uh, mixed about three ounces in approximately five gallons and just kind of dumped it and that's what you're seeing with the mud here but the dead ants were already dead and they died because of the um, dawn dish soap and water mixture the ant hill isn't really visible anymore it took up it was approximately right here and it it obviously was right here as well so a decent sized hill not anything too insane but Let's zoom in here, and you can see the specks of the ant uh, carcasses. I think the way that it works is the dish soap uh, removes the oil coating on their exoskeletons, and they dehydrate and die. So here's a big old pile, several hundred, maybe even thousands. Um, they were, I guess, trying to evacuate the nest, and for whatever reason, they congregated and died together. Pretty interesting. So, uh, once again, this is the results of Dawn dish soap and water. When you're doing this, make sure that you cover the, uh, not just the hill, but quite a big perimeter, because like an iceberg, even though the hill is just like right here, they're you know, it, it could extend out in their tunnels and stuff to quite a bit more. So it'll take several uh, gallons if you want to completely eliminate it. Um, it's chemical free, it's not going to burn your grass or anything like that, it's cheap. Um, I was doing it kind of as an experiment because I couldn't find too much information on YouTube and uh, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. So you can see this little guy right here, he's going to die as soon as he goes onto this permethrin uh, soaked concrete uh, because if you don't know permethrin is a uh, a neuro I think it some kind of a neurotoxin or something um, and it isn't an instant killer unless you're a, like a flea or a tick or lice it does work exceptionally well for those guys but since this ant's been exposed he's not gonna live uh, I don't know how long it takes but he's done for so or she actually I think all all ants are male if I remember and the queen is the only female leave a comment on that uh, if, if you happen to know so yeah hopefully this helps because uh, I know fire ants are a huge problem and this should be a, an effective way that's um, minimal impact on the environment, safe for kids, animals, that sort of thing, and uh, doesn't doesn't affect your vegetation either. Obviously, um, yeah, that's all I have for today, for today. so thanks for watching uh, One Empire um, here. Like, subscribe, comment, uh, sign out. See you.